The story of Hala came from a lot of lived experience. I was living with my family and I started to recollect these memories of like what it was like to grow up in that household. I think you need to be a little more understanding about mom. She's overprotective. The dynamic in my household was like not something I got to see on screen. So I put all these little sort of vignettes together and that was the basis of Hala. Because this is pretty much Min's story, I knew that it would be authentic and it would be very powerful. I'm not sure why I write. I've said everything I want to say. There must be something you want to say that nobody's already said. Paula doesn't quite have it all together. She's still figuring it out. She's going to make mistakes. She's a teenage girl. And we need to normalize that. And you're not scared? Are you? Maybe. Even though she's from a Muslim family, it is a movie that a lot of people can relate to. I'm sorry. Sorry, you're so sorry because you're stuck. For young women in particular, it's important to feel like you can have your own agency and go on the search for identity without having to abandon your culture or your faith. You said that I could tell you if something was going on. Something's going on. We might have cultural differences, but in actuality, there are more things that make us similar than different. And this movie is really a beautiful example of that.